This example asks, what if the numerator of a fraction combination ends up being zero? Let's see what happens in this case. We have three-fifths minus nine-fifteenths. The common denominator in this case is 15, so to build the first fraction into a denominator of 15, I need to multiply the numer numerator and denominator by three, and then the second fraction remains the same. So if I do that, I get the first fraction as 9 over 15 minus 9 over 15. Now, you might approach this as anything minus itself is 0, but let's see a little bit more with fractions how that would work. So I have 9 fifteenths minus 9 fifteenths. So I have 9 copies of 1 fifteenth minus 9 copies of 1 fifteenth. That leaves me with 0 copies of 1 fifteenth, which is 0 over 15. And in that case, then, I have 0 over any number equals 0. So again, you might at this point realize that anything minus itself is 0. But this method is a little bit more formal way of dealing with the fractions and understand that we get the same result. So what if your numerator ends up being 0? Then the result is 0. And then that's as long as the denominator is not zero. That's a whole other case um, that we won't really look at with these examples.